The Project View Properties, or PVP as we call it, is the heart and soul of OnePager. Understanding what the PVP does is the key to you unlocking the efficiency the tool can provide. The documents OnePager creates are referred to as Project Views, so we've naturally called the settings the Project View Properties. But simply put, the Project View Properties are the settings. First, please note that the template you select in this OnePager Choices form when you make a new Project View contains the settings that will pre-populate the PVP form. Different templates will add different settings to the PVP upon creating a new document. You cannot retroactively apply a different template to the PVP, but you can open the PVP, make modifications, and then save your modifications back into your current template or to a new template by clicking the Copy to Template button on the Home tab in the ribbon right next to the PVP button here. In fact, this is the main gist of our application in terms of efficiency. You take a source file you already have in Project or Excel, you use one of our templates to get you a starting point, you customize your visuals, then you save those customizations back into templates that you can use next time. You will soon build up a library of templates that will get you what you need in any situation in a matter of minutes. Now let's explore the most important and frequently used settings in each tab. Several of these tabs are highlighted in another video and I'll call that out as we go. To open the PVP, click the button with gears on it in the Home tab on the ribbon toolbar if it's not already open. A control box will appear with a bunch of tabs and three buttons along the bottom. All of the settings in all of these tabs, if changed, will have some impact on the underlying chart. Cancel will close the PVP and cancel the changes. Apply will commit the changes and leave the form open. And OK will commit any changes and close the PVP form. The main tab is where you will find mostly time axis settings. Here is where you can adjust the start and end dates of the time axis boundaries, the time axis font, location, and height. And if you click the Configure Time Axis button, you'll get the Advanced Time Axis Features dialog box. We have a video about the time axis specifically at the link shown. The Rows and Swim Lanes tab is what allows you to control the vertical grouping of tasks and milestones into swim lanes and display of additional data in text columns to the right of the swim lanes. This top section here will dictate how many rows you have in your chart. This here is the main swim lane setting to tell OnePager how you want your swim lanes grouped. Select the field from your source file in the dropdown that will drive the grouping. Below that is what controls display of the actual swim lane and text column labels. Unchecking the show text columns or show swim lane labels boxes will turn off display of the swim lanes and text columns like you see here. The next section allows you to change the automatic ordering and at the bottom control of your swim lane and row borders. There is a video about rows and swim lanes that we encourage you to watch using the link shown. The task bars and milestones tabs can be controlled separately or certain settings can be mirrored by using this checkbox here. Any setting with a blue ball next to it is something that can be mirrored. In these tabs, you can control shape type, fill, height, and border formatting. This setting here is duplicative between the taskbars and milestones tabs and will color your shapes differently based on values in a field from your source file. However, be aware this is not where you can tell OnePager to give certain values certain colors. For example, maybe you want a status value of late to always be colored red. This setting will only make sure that each unique value is colored differently, but you don't have control of what those colors are. Where you do is here, by clicking the Manage Rules button in the Conditional Formatting section. Simply launch the Conditional Formatting Rules dialog box and add your rules. For more details on conditional formatting, see the video shown here in this link. Decorations like labels, dates, progress bars, and baseline shapes are all controlled here. 
turn these elements on and off using the checkboxes, or fine-tune how they're displayed by clicking their associated Properties buttons. The Legend tab controls how the legend appears, and there are a few specific features that are worth highlighting here. This checkbox will avoid showing a mixture of taskbars and milestones for the same values in your legend. This checkbox will turn off what we call the Gantt bar diagram at the bottom of the legend in case that isn't necessary for you. And this checkbox will freeze the legend until you purposefully rebuild it, which is helpful if you spent time manually modifying the legend. We also have a video for the legend, and you can visit that at the link shown. The Page Layout tab contains settings for your one-pager document dimensions, multi-page settings, and the size of your page or paper for the purposes of printing and exporting. We have specific videos that provide more detail on exporting your one-pager and multi-page reports in the links shown. The Headers and Footers tab includes settings for your title as well as for the headers and footers. The Comment Boxes tab controls how any comment box appears when you make it, but bear in mind that if you make changes to this tab, they will not be retroactively applied to any previously created comment box, only to comment boxes you make moving forward. The Event Link tab is more of a placeholder, and you'll see additional settings drop in here as we add more flexibility to this feature over time. The Advanced tab is essentially a catch-all for settings that don't logically fit into the other tabs. In the upper left are the on-off switches for a variety of display options. The upper right is where you can customize the background color and pattern of your chart. The bottom left is where you will find the Task Milestone Threshold, which controls the display of short duration tasks, and warning options that pop up when you're updating your one-pager document. The Crop Options button is where the specific settings are for how one pager either automatically or manually hides rows in your chart as you update it. It's associated with this button on the Home tab here in the Ribbon Toolbar. The setting here is for OnePager Pro users who connect to Project Server. To allow them to connect to Project Server directly or to get data from Project Professional. There's a difference here, and there is a video on this setting in the link shown. Toward the bottom right is the ability to display all tasks and milestones at the start or finish dates, which will help if you need a milestone view. Default snapshot date settings, which are seen during your one pager updates, are here. And finally, the default format of the file that is copied to the clipboard when you hit the big copy button on the left hand corner of your home tab in the ribbon toolbar is here. Lastly, the field mappings tab is where you can modify which fields from your source file are driving certain visual items or attributes in your one pager chart. For example, if you wanted to change the labels next to your shapes in one pager to be something other than the name column in Project or Excel, you can use this drop down here. As we like to say, tinkering with these settings is key to understanding what they do. Be brave, make changes, and see what happens. Eventually, you'll develop a muscle memory for where the knobs are to turn and the buttons are to push to get one pager to do what you want it to do. Please visit our other videos at onepager.com forward slash support. Or you're welcome to send an email to support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.